Hello everybody. This video is very overdue. But um I welcome thee to the Platinums of 2022. We are finally doing this after oh, it's been a while. So um you know this. I've done this is the third Platinums video I've done in a row. Uh so you see, this video was supposed to come out in, like, maybe mid-March, but, um, yeah, you could probably, you can probably take a guess why that didn't happen. Let's just say, March 2023 was not a good month. I'm finally deciding to do this, so, uh, this video... Who knows when this video comes out? So without further ado, but be before we go further ado, uh, how many Platinums did I get in 2022? So, if you remember, the last Platinum we talked about on the channel was, um, I believe it was Nick All-Star Brawl, which was my 100th Platinum, and I earned it on, I believe it was December 30th, 2021. I finished uh, 2022, I believe, with 40 Platinums to my name. So that means 40 brand spanking new games we get to talk about today. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I can tell you it is not going to be as long as last time because the last time we did this, it was a two and a half hour long video. It took me like two weeks to make it. This will be the next, this is the next big video I'm going to be making on the channel, so. Alright. What game do we talk about first? I gotta get a drink. We're gonna be here a while. As per usual, this is a platinum video, so expect my uh, my costume to change throughout the video because I like showing off. All right. <clears throat> so the first game we're talking about today is SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. The very first platinum of 2022. And, I don't mean to brag, but I was the very first person ever to platinum this game in the year 2022. I know. I can't handle all this. I can't handle all this fame. Well, according to PSN profiles, I am. So, Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated is fun. Okay, I can see why everyone likes this game. Game's fun. It is. It's it's simple. It's a collectathon. It's fun. Uh, I beat the game in like like a week. <laughs> Let's see. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Yeah, I beat the game in like a plat beat and platted the game in like a week because I wouldn't stop playing this. And since it was Christmas 2021, I got it. I was sick, and I think, I want to say I had COVID, because it, I was sick, like weird, like weird, and then there was a moment, there was a minute where I sneezed like three times in a row, and then that was like the finale, the days, like the day after, after that moment, I felt like not as sick anymore, so I think I just sneezed all of it out. <laughs> Okay, um, it's a fun game. I didn't, there was a very easy out of bounds. If you stand on this rock, you like double jump and you do that, uh, you press the attack button. It's like, huh? Jumps, and then as soon as you do the double jump, you hit the attack move while going out of bounds, and it works. That's fun, but, um, other than that, I didn't really experience any bugs or glitches or 
all around solid, solid game. Which is why I now hold fondly, I hold fond memories for the rehydrated version, not the OG one everyone else likes. But from what I've seen, it's the same game. So, if you encountered bugs, that's on you. Platinum number one oh one oh two coming at you, and it's Spyro the Dragon. Spyro the Dragon, huh? Yeah, you know, Spyro one from the Reignited trilogy. Oh, I thought, I thought you meant the PS one game. Well, it is a PS one game. It's just you know, it was remastered for the PS four. And I got it for Christmas? Or was it my birthday? It was one of them. I showed it off. I know I did. But yeah. I platinum. I played Spyro 1. Hell, I streamed it. So I can't say, oh, I platted Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Because it's three games in one. So, like when I, if I ever platinum a Crash Bandicoot game. Today I platinumed Crash 1. Crash 2, Crash 3, not going for 4, not going for uh, the, the racing one, CTR. What do you think I am? <laughs> you, think I, you think I go for platinum like that? What are you, crazy? You're out of your mind. Anyway, Spyro 1, it was the last PS4 stream I did in 2021. And uh, it was a fun, it was surprisingly fun. I don't remember much about it, but, and I think I remember, I remember playing Spyro 2 for the first time, thinking my PS4 controller was drifting, because either Spyro would move or like the camera would just like slowly spin. I'm like, oh no, is the controller getting drift? Because I basically, the PS4 the PS4 controller I have now, I basically haggled it. <laughs> Except I didn't because I was trying to platinum Toy Story Mania because it was a PS Now game. And I'm like, oh, there's a trophy. I, there's a trophy where I need two controllers. I don't have two PS4 controllers. I'll ask for a Marion to have, to have let me borrow one. So I begged and pleaded and pleaded and begged and begged to give me one of his PS4 controllers. He eventually did, but he was like, I want it back, okay? And I'm like, yeah, sure. I never gave it back. So I basically just took it for myself. I suck. And it's been the PS4 controller I've used through all of 2021 and all of 2022. Literally, the one, the PS4 controller that I got with the system is in my closet. Because the um the right the right stick has a drift. I wonder why that is. And I can officially say yesterday I officially dropped my PS5 controller for the very first time. It fell off my table, and I was like, oh, my the controller fell the first time it fell. Trying my best, man, to not drop this thing. Anyway, there's a little, that's uh, how I basically stole a PS4 controller. But yeah, back to Spyro. There's pretty much, there's pretty much not, there's nothing to say. I mean, it's a fine remake. The final boss was piss easy. I'm pretty sure Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated was more difficult. I did not play Spyro 2 because I thought my controller was drifting. And I might go back to that. And I probably have to because I'll platinum Spyro 2 this year and then in 2024 I'm going to platinum Spyro 3 because the platinum is literally titled Party Like It's 2024 so yeah that was Spyro number one <laughs> Next 
up on the docket, we have Sonic Colors Ultimate. The remake, no, the, 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 the remaster slash port to modern consoles, but not a PS5 port. Like, what the heck? Actually, like I lied, it is on PS5, but there's no PS5 trophy list for it. So, I mean, not like I care, but... Uh, Sonic Colors Ultimate is one of the very few physical games that I own, that I platted, that I 100% and will probably never revisit. Also, That also goes for Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated and another game we will talk about later. So, <coughs> Sonic Colors Ultimate, not editing that out. I had the original Wii version. I did not beat it. Or maybe. Actually, I don't remember how far I got. I think I got to, like, Planet Wisp, and then I stopped. Because I don't remember playing the Wii version at all. Well, that's a lie. I do remember playing it, but I don't remember anything specific from it. So... Yeah, I liked it. I really liked all the bugs and glitches. And another thing I loved about it was that everyone saying it was like the worst port ever. Because you're not only wrong, you're stupid too. Because when I got it, I'm pretty sure everything was patched out. Of course, I got the PS4 version. All the issues were on like the Switch version. How it looked like fucking clown vomit psycho land. Like, literally, like, flashing colors up the wazoo or something. Like, it looked weird. Like, look up Sonic Colors Ultimate, like, Switch Glitch or something. You will be amazed. You will feel like you're tripping on acid. <laughs> but, uh, when I played it, there was absolutely zero bugs. Uh-huh. Then again, I got the game. I played the game from... November 21 to January 22 so everything was probably patched out so and it's a solid it's a solid one very enjoyable because I played it when I was a child Next up on the, uh, the, the the list, the platinum list, is a short hike. Now, whenever the year usually starts, I like to platinum like an indie. Indie? I like to platinum a game like this, in, I guess an indie game, you could say. Just a small, bite-sized, pl easy platinum game that's also just a cool, chill, good game in general. Let's see, I guess if you count 2020, it would have been Goose Game, which was the very first Platinum ever. 2021's would have been Donut County. This wasn't the first Platinum of the year, but this one I like to count. 2022's goes to a short hike. This game was a pretty solid, pretty good, pretty solid. Uh, it was short, you play as this bird who's like on vacation. And you take a hike to the mountain and look at the stars. I think. Looking through the... Uh, I'm trying to remember trophy. You had to... There's collectibles. There's... You can talk to a bunch of people. There's like little side missions you can do. You can race people. You can water sprouts. You can... You can get on a boat and just go on the water and just... Tra you don't have to immediately get to the top of this mountain you can just explore this this little area slash island it was a pretty good time pretty good pretty solid game pretty chill game nothing mind-blowing or out of this world but it was just small simple and just an enjoyable little game and that's about all i got for this game Alright, 
for these uh, cheap Garbo Platinums of uh, this year, uh, we're not. Gonna, I'm not going to talk about these very uh, long because this is the Sheep P, and I'm pretty sure this is like the. I platted a few of these in 2021, but yeah, it's. Remember the Pig D or the the. Uh, I platted a few of these this year just because they're just cheap, easy platinums for like. Ooh, I need to meet my. I need to meet a platinum quota for this month. Uh, Sheep P. There you go. So, uh, Sheep P is exactly like the Pig D. Refer to uh, Platinums of 2021. Yeah, there isn't much to this one either. It's just like the insert uh, animal here, insert random letter here games. Like the last Platinum. Except if you like tomatoes, you'll like this game. All right, finally we're getting we're getting back into the platinums, and we're getting back into it with Peggle Two, the only Peggle game that has a platinum on PlayStation as of when I'm making this video. So, Peggle 2. Man, Peggle, Peggle is an American classic, okay? It's up there with football and bejeweled. Like, like everyone and their grandmother's uncle knows what Peggle 2, pe not Peggle 2, just Peggle in general. Peggle is, is, is great. Everyone loves Peggle. Peggle this, Peggle that. There's Peggle, there's Peggle, there's Peggle 2, there's Peggle Deluxe, I think, there's Peggle Knights. There's lots and lots of Peggle. I get, I'm getting Peggle just thinking about it. But, uh, good game to just sit back and play when you have nothing else better to do. And I platinumed it on the 25th of February, so I think I, that's when Elden Ring came out, right? I think so. So, yeah. If you haven't tried Peggle, what's wrong with you? I'm pretty sure there's a mobile app. It's called Peggle Blast, I think. I used to play it. If you haven't played Peggle, give it a try. You haven't played a real man's game if you haven't. So, uh, and uh, yeah. Hashtag Peggle for life. Guys, I think I've been holding, I don't think I've told anyone this, but look, I know. I got flack last year in my games of 2021, yeah, in my games of 2021 review, I put a shit ton of easy garbage platinums on the worst list. Because, actually no, Aqua said, he was like, Aqua did not approve of that video. And I was like, okay. Which is why, when I do my Games of 2022 video this year, I'm just not going to put games like this on here. Because, remember when I said Orc Slayer was the worst game I have ever played? Well, this game beat it. I have a new worst game I have ever played, and that goes to Dragons in Space. Yeah, it's an easy platinum, but don't play this game. Stay away from this game. Block this game from everything. This is the worst game I have ever played in my entire life. This game made Orc Slayer look good, and Orc Slayer sucked. This game was way worse than Orc Slayer. It took me like a year and a half to platinum Orc Slayer because it sucked. And I really wanted to platinum it. And you know what I had to do on Orc, on Orc Slayer? I just turned off the music and sound effects and played the game mute. 
and the game was tolerable. This game, it took me a week to platinum this game. <laughs> it sucks. I know when it's when you say an easy, cheap, garbage platinum game is your worst game you've ever played, then it doesn't really count. But I don't care. So this is the worst this is the worst game I've ever played. Don't ever play this game. Play Orc Slayer instead. Like, I'm not even joking. Literally, the game, you know the the games like Ketchup Story and Sheep P, where you press a button, and that's, that's literally it. You press one button. You press, like, R1. You press R1, and you basically get a platinum. Don't play this. Yeah, there was some work put into this game. I don't remember. I sort of remember, actually. I take that back. I think there were misspellings in this game, and I'm pretty sure the person who made this game is also the pe is also the person that made like other weird games, easy platinum games. But I think like the credits, when you get to the last level, it's like a I think it just it doesn't end. <laughs> they did not program an end of end level into the last level or the credits level or whatever. It just, the credits will just go off screen, and you just sit there. There's no extra bonus content. There's no extra enemies. They don't respawn. There's no, like, oh, you're still here? Well, what are you doing here? It just, it's just your little, your little space pilot plane thing, and space. The, the level doesn't end. It goes on for as long as you want it to. There might be something. They might have programmed something in it, but I highly doubt it. <laughs> I don't say this enough on the channel because uh, I don't really need to, but don't play Dragons in Space. Don't play it. Just God, please don't. You would rather get more enjoyment watching paint dry than play this game. You will get mad at this game. You will. You very, very much will. And you don't want to get angry. If you want to get angry, go play Fortnite. Or some shooter that you play. Don't play this. <coughs> don't play this game at all. Just don't. Stay away from it. Play Orc Slayer instead. <sighs> Anything else? No. Whoever made this... <laughs> I don't mean to sound like a butthole or anything, but, uh... Do better. Make better the game. I made a breakout game in 6th grade tech class that was better than this. Because it's breakout, and breakout's easy and fun to make. Minecraft Dungeons is next on our list. The second Minecraft game, or the second game in the Minecraft franchise I've platinumed? Because Minecraft is getting a bunch of, like, spin-offs now. Because recently we got Minecraft Legends, which I played that on PC Game Pass. And Minecraft Dungeons was the, um, the first game I platinumed when I bought it at Mall of America, if you remember that. I bought Minecraft Dungeons, Family Feud, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, and what else did I buy? Kingdom Hearts 3. I did buy Kingdom Hearts 3, right? No, I didn't. Wait. What did I buy there? Okay, I bought... I bought... Family Feud. I bought Minecraft. I bought... Jedi Fallen Order. What did I, what else did I buy? Is it over there? It wasn't, um, it was Fallout 76, wasn't it? I think it was actually, yeah. It wasn't, because I was going to buy Kingdom Hearts 3 there, but I saw it, 
I went away. I went back to the GameStop in the mall. It was gone. So, yeah. Okay, yep. Now, now it makes sense. Okay. So, yep. I planned in Minecraft Dungeons. It took me uh, less than a year, actually. Almost a year. March 4th, 2022 was when I platinumed it. Because I think there was one trophy that I thought just wouldn't pop, and it was the Defeat 2500 Mobs trophy. Because I think I'd be way, I think I defeated way more than 252,500 mobs. I just don't think it, I just, I just don't think it popped, but whatever. But yeah, this game has a shit ton of DLC. I don't plan on going back to this game anytime soon. Because I literally platinumed it in like maybe a day or two later. I got a, I got a friend request from the kid saying, Hey, do you have Minecraft Dungeons? Can you like play with me? Or maybe it was, can you help me drag it or something? I was like, eh, it's all right, kid. I'm done with this game. <laughs> Which is why it is down there. It is down on the bottom of my games. Down there with, um... Spongebob, and other games that I plat- uh, and Sonic, and other games that I platinum this year, but I haven't- but we'll get to later. So, if it's down near the bottom, near the floor, it's basically completed. I don't have any plans on going back to it soon, so. There are two other games down there that I haven't played yet, but I just don't have enough space up here, so. I'm, ta I'm, ta I'm talking about this, of course. These are the games that I've platinumed. Well, from this bottom blue one to like right here. These. Everything else is uh, on my to play list. Or games that I have played, they're just... The main games I play are over there. Not right here. This is like extra space. And if it comes to it, I might need to buy another one. Put it right next to it. So yeah, that was Minecraft Dungeons. Solid. It was fine. Although around the edges of the screen, there were some weird graphical things. But I don't know why that happened. Will I platinum Minecraft Legends? I don't know. I haven't even looked at the trophy list in a while. I kind of got bored from it. So that that tells you something. Then... I was like out of town when this game came out too because I remember when the game came out like Lucas and Jonathan both bought it and played it and yeah hmm. yeah that was Minecraft Legends it's it was it's fun for like the first maybe day or so Yeah, you you should you should know the deal by now. It's the chick C. Uh, no, not a good game. I don't know why I play these. Oh yeah, for the for the monthly platinum quota. Oh, you like you like you like what I did with the room? I'm adding more pizzazz to the background. <laughs> Bold and brash. Remember that smash poster from like four five years ago it's back you got the bugleberry poster and uh pictures from prom 23 yeah that's a good you like this right i think it adds more dazzle oh and the pokemon poster is over there you can't see it but oh and you probably can't see it but like literally it's literally right off camera you see over there see that see that picture in between the you do you see it but uh yeah uh literally nothing to say it's uh revert to the sheep p because it's the same game except chickens <laughs> Of course he did. Uh, where are we? Oh yes. 
Oh yeah, we can talk about Cuphead. Oh, mm, oh yeah. Uh, Platinum 111 goes to Cuphead. Yeah. Cuphead, ooh, that's a, man, I sunk a lot of hours into Cuphead. It was like my fifth or fourth most played game on PlayStation of 2022. Which is weird to think about. Because I played Cuphead so much that literally out of every other game I played in 2022 on, on PS4, it was like number four or five. I don't remember. I can't remember. But, uh, yeah. Cuphead, you know, back when it came out, everyone and their grandmother was like, this game's hard. This game's real, real, real tough. Yeah, because I kind of misheard on a trophy. I thought one of the trophies was you have to S rank all the bosses. You only had to you only have to S rank one for the platinum. I S ranked like three of them. I S ranked Phantom the Phantom Train, Phantom Express. I S ranked the Devil <laughs> for this fucking platinum. And I'm like, oh, just one just one S just one S rank. Then I was like, oh, thank God. But, um, you know, we are, how many games into the Platinum video? I don't even know how many Platinum. Oh, we're like, maybe like 11. I've mainly just been talking about the game and not the, the Platinum process. Because that's kind of what I did for Platinums of 21 and 20, is that I mainly just talked about the game. And not how hard it was to get the platinum or something. Which is, I mean, eh. But do y'all care though? That's, that's, that's a big question. Do y'all, do y'all care? <laughs> but yeah, this, this platinum was not as hard as it seemed. Because this game is fucking, this game is great. Drawing a blank, drawing a blank, drawing a blank. This game is great. The DLC came out for it. I streamed that for not as long as I wanted to because my stream cut out because the internet sucks. And, uh, yeah, this game is really good. Uh, challenging, I will say. If you don't like any hard games whatsoever, do not play this game. Okay? But I... I would play it. I would give it a try. Because it's that good. And, um... Yeah. We're probably not going to get anything Cuphead related for a while. But, um... Yeah. And, um... The Cuphead DLC recently hit its one year anniversary, I hear. So... Yeah, it's already, it's already been a year since it came out, which is weird to think about. Man, it's been a long year. I said the Joker is a wanted man It makes a way across the land Lego DC Super Villains is the next game on the list. What a surprisingly good Lego game. You know, coming this is coming from me, I have played absolutely, like, no Lego games. The only Lego games that I have played to my name are the Lego movie video game, this one, DC Super Villains, and Lego The Incredibles. And I haven't beat that one yet. I've only played three Lego games. Not Lego Star Wars, not Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Actually, I have played that one. It was with Josiah like years ago on his Xbox 360. And I have the DS version, which I played once and never touched again because I didn't like it. Uh, but literally any other LEGO games out there except for the ones I just talked about, I have not played and don't plan on playing as of right now. That could change. I wanted to play, I wanted to get into the, I wanted to play maybe LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga because... I don't know, it's like a bunch of them combined, but like no one liked that game, so. 
Even people who grew up on the series were like, man, this game sucks. Mm. But whatever. Uh, I sinked like a hundred hours into this game because of all the freaking collect collectibles to do. It's a Lego game, so like basically every trophy is the exact same. Beat the game, get like all the stuff, unlock all the characters, get like a billion dollars in studs. And then these random miscellaneous like, dude, this is this character, or meet up with this character with the character you're playing as. Or some stuff like that, I don't know. But, um, DC Super Villains, it was good. I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. And if you like Lego games, this will certainly be up your alley. Knockout City is the next game on our list. Remember Knockout City? It has since been shut down. I mean, you can't play it no more. Which is set, which sucks because I still remember playing the freaking. I still remember playing the the uh, the open beta or the play test or whatever. And I I miss it. I mean, I stopped playing it after I platted it. But, um, I mean, it was, it was a fun ride. It was fun. Me, Amari, and Jordan, we were, like, unstoppable. That was the playtest, though. And then we waited, and then it, then, then it ended. That was, like, that was, like, February of 21, I think. And then the game came out, like, later that May. Because I remember it came out the same day as Rust for the PlayStation. So I was out here playing Knockout City while everyone else was playing fucking Rust. Which I still don't have, by the way. I've wanted to play it. Just see what it see what it's like, but everyone every, every all the memes I see online, they're all like, don't play Rust. If you wanna don't just don't. <laughs> I play Rust every day. Don't play Rust. <laughs> That's what they said about League of Legends. Or World of Warcraft. I forgot. I forgot which one. Eh, John Adam would know. Anyway, uh, Knockout City was a grind, that's for sure. Uh, I am on the first leaderboards. I was on the leader. I was on. I was on the first achievers for some trophies, maybe like a one or two. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um. It was a good game. I liked it. It kind of got boring and repetitive after a while, but yeah, I miss it. But yeah, we got we got a few more good games up and coming. So uh, yeah, that was um, Knockout City. I would recommend it, but uh, it it gone now. So. <laughs> Duck Dynasty is the next game on the list. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Duck Dynasty. Oh, you heard that right. You saw that right. You know, the hit show that aired on, uh, what did it air on? A&E, I think. I think. You know, Duck Dynasty, that show with all the old guys. Not the old guys. They're not, they're not that old. One of them is, but... The middle-aged men with the big beards, they live out in, like, the forest, and they duck hunt, and they, uh, do stuff, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't watch the show. I do remember it being on. I do remember it being on, though, so. Yeah, I came, where did I buy it? I came across this game, I believe, at Vintage Stock. I can't, I couldn't believe, I knew of the game's existence, but I'm like, this is probably like a stupid rare game. The PS3 version probably is, but I found this game. It was like a few bucks, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm most certainly buying this. And even funnier, it had a platinum. So I'm like, oh my god, if I, I could, 
I'll be remembered for platinuming Duck Dynasty. And I... It was a game, alright. It, uh, kinda sucked. Wow, who could have saw that one coming for Duck Dynasty? But, you play as the kid. You play as his name, what? John Luke. You play as John Luke. You, uh, drive a truck around... And you, it's basically a mini game collection. You boat race, you like call ducks and you shoot them. Uh, you fish. You, uh, what else do you do? That's uh, pretty much it. There's collectibles, if you can believe that. Like frogs and, and, and signs and like one other thing, but I can't remember it. Yeah. Oh, and when you drive, when you're driving, going from place to place, the game will just stop and, like, load the next section of the world. Because that's how open world games worked on the 360 and the PS3, I think. So it's basically, the PS4 version, it's, like, nothing special. It's basically the PS3 version, but a port. And I don't have the game with me right now because I lended it to Jonathan Spear. And he hasn't given it back. Jonathan, give me my game back. Please. I don't know. When this video comes out, you might have given it back, but uh, I want it back. So that's Duck Dynasty. It's uh, it's a meme game. Uh, it's kind of, kind of shit, but for what it was, you, yeah. <laughs> it was most certainly a game of all time. This next platinum is pretty sus, if you ask me. <laughs> Among Us is the next game on our list. Uh, it's, it's Among Us on consoles. Which, it came to us in, oh, what, I think it was December of 21, it came out on consoles. Because I remember it, like, was announced wait I can't I want to say it came out the same day as spider-man no way home or the same day as Jordan's birthday hmm I can't remember but um this game was uh, it was among us <laughs> I think I grinded for the I think I did some grinding for it I actually don't remember but yeah, um, it's, it's fucking Among Us. What's there to say? I feel like Among Us is kind of like Minecraft in a, in a way that it's like, oh, it's fun with friends because it's, you know, like a party game. That's how it came to popularity. Also, who played Among Us for it to get popular? How the hell did this game get popular? Because it originally released in 2018. <laughs> Not 2020, as some folks might think. Man, I wonder I wonder who played Among Us in like 2018, 2019, early 2020. Hmm. Yeah, it's uh there's not much to say really. It's it's uh it's Among Us. Was the platinum easy or hard? It was fine. Just a little, a little bit of grinding here and there, but uh, overall, it's a pretty good time, I think. I think I had fun with it. Yeah. Waifu Impact is a game that I platinumed. Platinum number. 116 I I won this game in a contest actually it's just I'm on a disc I'm on this discord server and they were like we're giving a we're giving away a code for waifu impact and I won <laughs> so uh yeah I played waifu impact and it sucked 
It sucked. Not a good game. Who would have thought? What? It wasn't a good game, but there's the waifus, the hot anime women. Wow, it's almost like... It's almost like that was like the selling point of the game. It's like a, I forgot, it's like, it's an open world game where you play as this hot anime babe and you like shoot water guns at uh, other anime girls, I think. I don't, I don't really remember. Also, yeah, it's, I'm pretty sure the title is directly trying to connect Genshin Impact and waifu in his god outside? Wow, why is it so bright? Why is the contrast so bright? There we go. That's better. But uh, the waifu... I almost said the waifu bleh. Waifu impact. Yeah, this game sucked. <laughs> if you have hot anime women in an easy platinum game, you're bound to sell and make money. But you gotta make the gameplay good too. In this game, gameplay wise, was not good. Cow G. It's uh, basically the chick C, but with cows. Yep. Dirt 5 is the next game on our list. Dirt 5 was a PS Plus game for, I believe it was January of 2022. I, re I redeem all PS Plus games, no matter if I will play them. And I decided to check this one out. Interesting game. It was a PS5 launch title, I think. Uh, <clears throat> I did have to grind out one of the trophies. It was like drive something miles, I think. So I literally just left my PS4 on while hitting like the button, like the freaking ZR accelerate button. And it was this like custom made map where it was like a square or like a circle or like a circle. So it would just, it would just, <clears throat> it would just. It would just keep going for hours and hours upon end. And, uh... I can't remember jack shit from this game. There was a story mode, I think. But, yeah, that should... If... <laughs> that should tell you that. That should, that should tell you something. Uh, there is a story mode, I think. And yeah, that was Dirt 5. Good dirt racing game. Really enjoyable. I think people who like racing games and dirt racing games, you guys will like it lots. So I thought it would be a cool idea to film a platinum segment while I'm at the beach here in Texas, Galveston, Galveston Texas. So uh, today, today's game is Gem Smashers. Uh, what to say about Gem Smashers? Oh wait, by the way, look at that view. Well, behind me. Here's the The birds. Gem Smashers was, uh, oh Christ, let me think. I gotta think of what the game was. Oh crap, check it out. Hope one lands on our umbrella. Anyway, it's just a platinum time. This is Gem Smashers. Uh, it was originally, I think, a Game Boy Advance game. But then they ported it to modern consoles for some odd reason. Uh, I still have my shoes on. It's, um, it was fine. It was an easy platinum. It was one of those easy platinums. Uh, so yeah, Gem Smashers was fine. Easy platinum. You, you can play it, uh, 
Yeah, it's one of those cheap. It wasn't. It was like I forgot how much it was. It was like five bucks. Oh my god, these they're assaulting these people. I want that to be me. Birds to assault me, but we don't have food. So, oh my god, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, uh, there's not much to say. It's it's fucking gym smashers. It was fine. Easy, cheap, and above all, it really didn't look good either. It looked like a PS3 game, but it was on PS4, so. Yep, that was the beach segment. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. We are here to talk about ukulele, which is next on the list. Ukulele, boy, what a what a game! It was, I think, from the people behind. It was uh, Banjo Kazooie. They even got, they even brought back Grant Kirkhope, I think, to do the music. He did do the music, right? I think. But um, let's see. I platinum this game. Ah, uh, not here. I did not platinum this game at my in my room. I actually platinum this game during the Kansas City staycation, if you could believe that. Remember the segment where it was like, real. It was like raining outside, and you can like hear like the tornado, like the whole, like the. Yeah, I was like playing ukulele when that happened, and. It, it started getting bad outside, and the power went off, and it shot off my console. <laughs> ukulele was surprisingly f a fun game. I actually really enjoyed it. It was one—I think it was one of those games where I play it. I play it just to play it. I, did I do a live stream on it? Did I do a first reactions to ukulele? I don't think I did. Uh, but oh my god, shut up! There's this dumbass, there's a fucking grasshopper in my window. How does that, how does that happen? How does that happen? Anyway, what was I talking about? Ukulele. I didn't do a stream on it. And, uh, I do have the sequel, The Impossible Lair. I have not played that yet. But it's like completely different. It's like a 2D game. It's like, but it's 3D, but it's a 2D. It's two mainly 2D, which I find interesting. And uh, yeah, yeah, I, I I remember now. Okay, it was one of those games where I play. I played it just to play it. I stopped playing it because I lost interest, and then I picked it up again. But when I picked it up again, I played it for like a week straight. <laughs> So, yeah, that that's happened with a lot of games. Like, uh, scratch that. I can't think of any games on my mind. So, you know how the last clip was Gem Smashers and I was at the beach talking about that? That sort of sparked something in me because, um, guys, I, I need to be real with you. When I'm filming this, it is August 8th. You want to know when I started making this video? April. April. I started filming this video in April. May, June, July, August. Four months of filming. Of, of okay, well, of on and off filming. Like, I filmed once in June, and I filmed once in July. <laughs> At the beginning of July, and the beach segment. <laughs> I wasn't kidding in my my Back to Basics video. Um, I really want to get this video fucking out. So I can just live. I can go on with my life and focus on my next project. Which is God knows what. So, any back to what I was back to what I first said, the the beach segment, that sort of sparked something in me because 
not counting ukulele, we have like 19 more games to talk about. And I was like, hey, what if I talk about these games in a in a in a, in a place not in this room? What if I talk about some games on location? Just to sort of spice the rest of the video up. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say fully, but part partially for the rest of this video, expect a new location. At least for the next like three or four of them. Okay. Okay, we're we're on good terms now. That grasshopper's not gonna leave me, is he? He's just he's uh, he's leaving easily in the corner. He's just straight up in the corner. He is not leaving. He, there's no holes up there. The hole is down there. Cause remember the the little the prom, twenty two incident. You know, Mackenzie sneak out, she poked a big ass hole in my window and. That, yeah. That was ukulele. <laughs> good game. Good games had by all. It was fun. Kind of got boring in some segments, but hey, do all games get boring at some points. So, that was the Lely of Uke. <laughs>
What's the game we're talking about? Oh yeah, my name is Mayo 3. 3. Wow, we're back. My name is Mayo is back, baby, the series. Number 3. And uh, if you hear any beeping, <laughs> please ignore that. That's just my fridge telling me, hey, shut my doors. <laughs> So uh, my name is Mayo Three, I'm, or I might close the doors so it doesn't it doesn't do a beeping or something. Oh. My name is Mayo Three. Was boy, what a real what a real tragedy this story was. This this game was a lot more serious than the previous two, and um, yeah, uh, <laughs> that was just beat number one. <laughs> So yeah, My Name is Mayo 3 was pretty, pretty heavy set on its story. Notice how I'm doing all these air quotes, it's because it's fucking My Name is Mayo 3. So, it tried to be like serious instead of being the cartoon, the ha ha funny cartoon game. Uh, it was a real real game. It was a story. It was a game of all time. Hey boys and girls. Today we're here to discuss Kawaii Deathu Desu. <laughs> I could have swore I filmed this segment a few days ago, but it never existed. So, yeah, Kawaii Deathu Desu, what an interesting game, because basically you play as idols, and you, like, fight off your hordes of fans, and it you're not just a normal human idol, you can be like a vampire, like a demon, a zombie, a werewolf, and probably some more that I even I forgot. Uh and you can be all over the all over the globe, like in the US, Japan, China, Brazil. France, I think. Yeah, this game was really interesting, and you might think it's a sus game, but it's not really that sus. It's mainly the, uh, no. It's just, no. It's, it's not sus. I can confirm with 100% certainty right now that it's not a sus game. It was basically, you can, you can press any PS5 controls a little dusty. You can press like any button to like, it's like, because you have to press like, like if you press the L2 button, what the fuck? Like if you press the L2 button, you'll, uh, you'll face left and you'll fight all the hordes that are on the left side. Or whatever. But, but my left. It's going to be different on the camera, oh, maybe, I don't know. And you know, if you hit the right buttons, like anything on this side of the controller, you have to fight the enemies on this side, so it's like you're constantly swapping. And, I don't know, it was just a very okay game. It took a while to platinum. Duh, <laughs> uh, that's... That's about all I have for Kawaii Deathu Desu. What's next? Oh! We are back for another segment. And today, in today's game, to write the game we're talking about next is Meme Run 2. Ah. You know, the game that I thought basically killed my PlayStation. I was going to do, it was going to be part of Stream Week, if y'all can remember that. But I didn't do it. 
which resulted in stream week is canceled that that video which I genuinely thought my streaming days on my PlayStation 4 were were done for but I uh, insisted on I made a video on it it was nominated for worst video of the year it was called a little taste of meme run 2 it was a very loud video <laughs> going over it but a uh, meme run 2 it's exactly as is fucking stupid as it sounds it's a sequel to meme run which is a game that was on the Wii U I can't I I could have bought it but I think they took it off real quick it's just very loud dated memes the game I think PlayStation it came out in 22 and it came out nor uh, normally in 2020 so it, I don't know I didn't know about it until it came to PlayStation so anyway uh, it was as bad as bad as you can imagine but it was also like a like a funny bad like you there, there were just it was all dated memes like there was like there were pla different playable characters like like the Illuminati guy I think fucking Belle Delphine type like thought girl was in there you had an old guy you had, uh, there were like two more. I, I don't, I don't remember. But, uh, let's see. What else, what else? Oh, all the wacky effects that were, that would play when you played the game, of course. Like, the one I remember off the top of my head was there was like a cheap FNAF jump scare that was in there that was really loud. And of course, you had your air horns and your, like, like Call of Duty like hit marker things that you'd use in MLG videos and I think the background was like Windows XP but overall it was a very interesting platinum and I will gladly play more games like that what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck out! Okay. All right. I think we're back. I think we're back. Okay. We are so Barack, everybody. All right. What's the next game? Oh, yeah. Space Kabam 2. Remember Space Kabam 1? You don't? Wow. Why the hell am I reviewing this? Oh yeah, it's for the Platinums. Uh, it, it, it sucked. It was bad. Next! Wasn't there another game I was supposed to review for this one? The Bat D. Oh. Oh, poop. Well, thankfully, as of filming this, this is the last the blank blank type of game I have platinumed. Even here in 2023. Yay, no more the insert animal here, insert random letter here. Yeah, baby, yeah! We are back for Disco Cannon Airlines. Wow, what a weird game. I platinumed this game on the day uh, Better Call Saul ended. Just a little little tidbit for you. Uh, also, I have gotten a haircut recently. So, not only has this video taken me months to make, but I've changed looks throughout the video, too. <laughs> so, uh, what to say about this game? Really weird. Uh, you play as this guy. I th you play as a guy, I think. And you try to go up into the sky avoiding things or going through things like loops. I don't really know. <laughs> I have no idea. All I just know is this game was like 
a dollar and I think it was made by the person who made Road Bustle if you remember that game did you know they made a sequel to Road Bustle? Road Bustle DOS? I didn't even play the real Road Bustle if you talk, if you go back to my very old not very old but my Platinums of 2020 I talked about it and I basically bugged the game out to where I just kept running towards I basically kept running towards a into a wall and it counted as like me earning like miles or whatever Yeah, really weird game, and that's about all I can say about it. You didn't think we were going to have a whole Platinum video without a Sakura Succubus game, right? Well, you'd be wrong, because this is number five. It's, it's a funny a game to Platinum, because, oh, look. It's a, it's a hentai anime girl game. Hilarious. <sighs> Couples, I need to ask y'all something. Before we talk about the game, I need, I, I need, I need to ask y'all something, okay? So, if you're a guy who has a girlfriend, if you're a girl that has a boyfriend, and, and all the other combinations out there, listen up. I, I need a quick favor. I need to ask y'all something here. Do y'all sleep? I know that's kind of a dumb question, but do y'all just sleep together half the time? Is my concept of being having a relationship just so fucked that whenever I think of it, it's just... Y'all just sleep together? Is that like half of what you do? Because my sister currently has one. And half the time he's over here, they just fucking sleep. I don't understand. Is that, is, I don't, I don't get it. So if I happen to get with a woman, am I just, are we just gonna sleep like 50% of the time we're together? I don't, I don't know. I have no fucking clue. Oh, you like, you like, you like that? You like that up there? I, we, we, we framed that today. And the Bugleberry poster that was there before, it's right, oh, right there. I don't know where to put it. I was thinking, uh, maybe right next to the Mafia poster. Then again, the Bugleberry poster likes to, the tape on it, that likes to come off fairly often. So, maybe I'll get a frame for that one. I don't fucking know. Alright, let's go on to today's game, which is uh, Sonic Origins. The second Sonic game I've platinumed in 2022. Sonic Origins is a collection of Sonic games from the past. You had Sonic 1, well, when I, what the hell happened there? I kind of just deflated. When I played it, there was Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles. And that was it. Oh, uh, but, oh, but a few months ago, they released Sonic Origins Plus which added a shit ton of Game Gear games, the ability to play as Amy for the first time ever. Wait, was Sonic CD in there? Yeah, Sonic CD was in there, and, and Sonic CD, don't forget that. When I played it, it was literally one of the easiest, Sonic Origins is, is one of the easiest Platinums I think you could get. Not even, like just easy Platinum wise, and it's not even like a cheap Garbo game. Look at both. Dep depending who you ask, it's it's kind of bad. When it came out, it was kind of bad, but it, it grew to be pretty good, I think. I mean, you have a bunch of the Game Gear games now. You can, and there's just a whole bunch of stuff you can do. 
and where was I going with that? Sonic Origins is very easy when it comes to trophies because there's literally a trophy where you have to fly his tails or glide his knuckles. I'm not kidding either. That's literally one of the trophies you have to do. So yeah, that's going to do it for the Sonic Origins segment of the video. The second Sonic game I've platinumed this year. Really fucking easy. Plat is a very easy plat. If you like Sonic games and you like easy platinums, platinum Sonic Origins. I mean, you have to play Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles, and CD all the, all the way, but that's fucking cakewalk. That's easy. You can do that. Can you? It was then EXE Show realized that we are now talking about the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe for the PlayStation 4, which is what he played the game on. Yes, it is me, the voice. I control the segment now, and I'm going to talk about the game while you sit there on your lazy ass doing absolutely nothing. EXE, don't you fucking yawn on me, you betch. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe was a very fine game for EXE Show to Platinum. It was very fun. A very unique trophy list, and above all, he even did a live stream on it. It was very fun for all. There was even a trophy where you had to play the game for the entirety of a Tuesday, in which he left the PlayStation 4 on for 24 hours straight, and he left. Great. Now I'm, now I'm the only one here. You're going to be listening to the rest of the segment, I hope. There was another trophy where you did not play the game for 10 whole years. But I found an exploit. He found an exploit to which, uh, where he had to just set the date and time on the PlayStation 4 to, uh, 10 years in the future. But there are, there is a committee out there who is, um, going the real distance and not playing the game for 10 years and going to plat to get that thing out of the camera. Thank you. But overall, the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe was a pretty good game. Very funny, in fact. Very good. Everyone should play this game. And yeah, let's cut back to our scheduled programming. Yes, EXE, we see the poster of you on the wall. Ah, oh, I can't do this without a hat. Hey, the pizza delivery boy who saved the world. That is what, uh, that's what the game is called. Yeah, you like my you like my new hat? I think I might be rocking this. It's got Sonic on it. It's got some Japanese lettering on it. It looks pretty slick. It also looks like a ball cap. So it's pretty much what it is. It's one of those flat tops. The Pizza Delivery Boy Who Saved the World is a weird game. Not in the sense, not in the uh, it's a cheap platinum sense. Not like a, not like a, it's not like a road bustle type game. It's not like a, you can clearly tell it was really, it was made in a week on the Unity engine 
and on the PSN store for like three bucks. Now this one takes the uh, the Sakura Succubus. Not well, we we're not talking about hentai babes that are succubus and have very lewd photos. We're talking about take a picture of me, make me make me a PNG, and slap me in front of fucking like a Persona 5 esque. Like I'm down here and I have like a text box, or say put me like right here and put. It's one of those things. I streamed this game, didn't I? I think I did. Maybe editor me will put up a picture of the live stream I did. If I did live stream the game, that is. Yeah, this was one of the weirder games. I can't really remember what it was about. <laughs> all I remember, all I remember is, and there's tons of games like this too. All I remember is you play as a pizza guy and. There is a story to it. I just can't, for the life of me, remember what it was. <laughs> There's another game like this coming down on the Platinum list later. But I believe we are in the final stretch, ladies and gentlemen. I think there's like five or six more games left. I want to say. I might not be right. I might be like, oh, but there's seven games. Or there's like, or there's eight. I'm close enough. Who cares? Um, yeah. Yeah. What's next? Man. Oh, I'm digging this new setup. You can, you see the Mafia poster. Uh, what, what the fuck am I doing? What am I filming this? Oh, I can film a platinum segment. What am I? What am I gonna? What am I gonna talk about? Suicide guy. Suicide guy is the uh, the next game. Hello, Indigo community. My name is Mustafa El Sakari, and I'm here to talk about Suicide Guy. Suicide guy is the next platinum on the list. And uh, man, this game is kind of bad. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This guy, this this game, kind of sucked. Like, the, what was the plot? The plot was um, he plays this guy, right? And you really, you really, you really want a beer. Like you want a beer so bad. So, what you do is you fall asleep. No wait. No, you fall asleep and like your beer is like about to fall off the table. So you have to quickly wake up and catch it, I think. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that that that's the plot of the game. You have you have a sip of your beer, you let go of it, you wake up and you grab it. But in between you falling asleep and waking up, you play a total of twenty levels. You play twenty levels, and uh, you basically kill yourself. In every level, you you try to kill yourself from getting out of the dream. I think. This game was kind of buggy. I remember there being some bugs and the physics in this game kind of sucked. But this isn't this isn't the end of Suicide Guy. No, there was a sequel. There was I think a third one. Yeah. You had Suicide Guy. You had Suicide Guy Sleeping Deeply. You had Sleeping Guy Deluxe Edition and then you had The Guy VR. Which I think Sleeping Guy is the most recent one. Because you can't, you can't, you can't say the word suicide anymore because, uh, well, you just can't. You can't say that word anymore because it's uh bad. It's bad. <laughs> In conclusion, for this segment, Suicide Guy was a game that existed. It still exists, and it's I'm pretty sure a mobile game. Oh, 
How giddy. Space Kabam 3 is next. Just fucking die. Just go die. Man, this, this gag really wasn't worth it. Because I'm going to sit here and talk about Garfield Lasagna Party while doing this. Garfield Lasagna Party was the, my, uh, my birthday platinum. The game I platinumed on my birthday. And if you go on PSM Profiles... What the fuck? Look at this clown. What the fuck? Yeah, I like seeing your boogers. Yeah. If you go on the PSM Profiles page for this game, literally every trophy, including the Platinum, I am on the first Achievers list on every trophy, including the Platinum. I'm pretty sure I was the 13th or 14th. I don't really remember. And that's why this game was perfect. Perfect to be the Platinum, my birthday Platinum. And uh, it was this cheap Mario Party ripoff. Uh, when it comes to gameplay wise, it kind of sucked. Birthday wise, it was pretty good. Birthday wise, it was pretty good. I uh, went to the casino for the very first time ever with my good friend Josiah. Yeah. That whole trip. I even made a video on it. It's called Roan Joe's Casino Caper. You might have seen it. Uh, coming from Aqua, he said it was very boring, but it was one of those videos where it's more for the nostalgia memory sake, which is why I made freaking Tears of the Kingdom Hangout or the 4th of July Blowout. You know, videos like that. There's not much to talk about the game really anymore. Uh, I've kind of, uh, that's pretty much all. That's pretty much all there is to the game, so. Yeah. It's, cer it's certainly a party game. I'll tell you that. Persona! Yeah, joke, Joker mask! Uh, Arsene, use your thingy. Thingamabobber. No. That's too cringy. It's not even, we're not even going to talk about Persona. We're going to talk about fucking suicide guy sleeping deeply. <laughs> this is the sequel to Sleeping Guy, as previously mentioned when I talked about Suicide Guy. Uh, I, unlike that game, I genuinely don't remember a single thing about well that was weird what the fuck was that I don't remember a single thing about this game uh I think you you sleep deeply overall uh I don't really know much about this game I generally can't remember it actually I think it was better than the first one like glitch wise and I think it's I think this one's shorter than the first one too so, also, since I'm in this new little camera area, I've now been uh, doing, like, computer screen gags. I just noticed I left Discord on on this one. So, <laughs> okay. But, uh, yeah. The gag for this one was uh, Prince Aqua. And it, it could have been way worse. Also, Aqua, you haven't commented on a video in a while. If you see this segment of the video, man, you should comment something down below. Yeah. Anyway, I gotta I gotta get going. I gotta go play Animal Crossing New Leaf on my Nintendo 3DS, so. Oh yeah.
yeah. We got to I got to I got to get ready. I got I got the Sonic shirt on. I got the Sonic hat on. And we're back in the normal camera setup. That means you know we're talking business. Sonic Frontiers. Holy shit. What a game this was. I even made a video about it a long time ago called Sonic Frontiers Please Don't Be Bad, I think it was called. In that video, it was trying to be like a donkey video. It was like donkey style, whatever. And uh, I was just saying, Sonic Frontiers, please don't be bad. And what do you know? It wasn't bad to me. I really liked it. I loved Sonic Frontiers. In fact, it was one of the very few games that I pre-ordered and played the day I got, the day it came out. It was so good, in fact, that I'm pretty sure they just straight up gave me a steel book, a steel book case. This is only one of only. I only own two steel books. One's for Sonic Frontiers, and the other's for fucking P5R. Which I only got P5R because, well, one, I wanted it, and two, the only copy I could find was of was the steelbook copy so so yeah Sonic Frontiers steelbook and I think at the end of September at the end of this month we're getting the final update which you know you know it's fucking calendar worthy because I wrote it down anyway here's the here's the here's the actual here's my copy uh, the PS4 version Ooh, that's dust. What the fuck? Where's the dust coming from? Anyway, Sonic Frontiers is fucking amazing. It's great. If you haven't played it, if you're a Sonic fan, I... What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> this game was fucking hype. The soundtrack went massively hard. The boss fights were like the best part of the game, pretty much. And, I don't know, it was just, it's better than forces, to tell you that. Hey, <laughs> And, uh, next month we have a new Sonic game coming out called Sonic Superstars. And, hopefully, that game is, uh, really good. So, yeah, game rocked, soundtrack rocked, uh, story was pretty good. It was the very first, like, open-world Sonic game, like, ever. So, it's, it's just a good, good game. I did two streams on it. Sadly, it would have been one stream, but, uh, my, yeah, my game crashed when I did something. So, not, not shitty internet, no. The game crashed. <laughs> Which makes me think... I need to do more. I need to do more first reactions. What was the last one I did? The last one I did as of filming this was what? Lego 2K Drive. And that was in May. That was like the day before I graduated. So. so yeah. Song Frontiers. Fucking awesome ass game. Shit. I might stream the final update. I don't know. Maybe. That's at the end of the month though. And it's September 4th. Also, um, someone died today. Not anyone close, thank God, thankfully. Uh, I feel like a lot of people have been dying recently. <laughs> like, a lot. And it's, come, it's made me think, man, 2023 has sucked. Whoa, I just went out of focus for a minute. I was thinking, man, 2023 has sucked for deaths. Because not only did we lose Josiah this year, but we lost a whole ton of famous people like Jimmy Buffett died a few days ago. Bob Barker, the Price is Right host, he died at 99. His He would have turned 100 in like three months. But the death I'm talking about who died today 
was fucking Steve Harwell, the Smash Mouth guy, the All Star guy. And if you know me, for like the past, I've got I've uh, I listen, I'm like the Smash Mouth guy. I've basically listened to every song they've ever fucking recorded. <laughs> so, and what's funny is that to the to the common man, their final album, which was called Magic. The, we want to know the very last song that was on that album. It was a cover of Don't You Forget About Me. How fucking fitting is that? I mean, their new, guy, their new guy is okay. I forgot his name, but... He kind of sounds like Steve. He kind of he, he kind of doesn't, but... I don't know, their latest song... I really want them to make a new album. I really do. Just with the new guy. This new guy, give him his album. Give him, and I know it's been like 13 years since the last album, but come on. Come on. Really? I'm probably the only person on planet Earth asking for this. I just, I need it. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, Sonic Frontiers. I've basically said all. We're, we have what, three games left? I can, uh, I, no, I can't rest yet. We have three more games to go. Sakura Succubus 6. Uh, I don't remember. Next game. Christmas run? So you're telling me, you're telling me, all of 2022, we did not see a single break game? But instead, we got a run game. Huh. That might be the biggest change since fucking. Who knows when? <laughs> Uh, it was different, I'll say that. It was a runner instead of a breakout style game. I'm in love with your dead grandmother. I know she treats me like no other. I'm in love with your dead grandmother. If only I could be a lover. <sighs> well, folks. We finally made it. <laughs> we finally did it. Oh my god. I'm gonna fucking start crying. I really am gonna start crying, guys, because we've hit platinum number 140. What did we end what did we end the year with this year? So in 2020, the last platinum I got was uh Christmas break. You know, it's just that's fine. I wasn't really thinking. 2021, not only did I end the year with Nick All-Star Brawl, but it was also the 100th Platinum. In the, in the year of 2022, I got 40 Platinums. And the very last Platinum I got, I think it was on fucking New Year's Eve, I think. I don't remember when I got it. But the last game I Platinumed in 2022 was I'm in Love With Your Dead Grandmother. That is a real game. That exists. In fact, this segment's gag, the computer screen gag, I'm playing the trailer for it. You can't make this shit up, folks. And it also deserved this camera angle, the Mafia poster angle, because the last two segments were just you know, shitty lighting. That's, pretty, that's really all. What did this game... What is this game? Well, you play as this purple... This purple guy! You, you play as this... You play as the nerd character, right? And you're, like, really obsessed with this lady. There's not... Oh, fuck. You're really obsessed with this lady... This lady's grandma. Her. You're really obsessed with that girl. You're in a... You're in a pink car. That that's a that's a, yeah. I I streamed the game. Hell, Josiah was there when I streamed it. He was on a 
I was on a Discord call on my phone, and I was like, hey, Josiah, what do you, what do you think of this? Yeah, you're really infatuated with this character's grandma. Like, like, oh, like you're really into this person's great grandma. But you're really depressed when you find out she's dead. Yeah, she's just dead. She died. She's, but, uh, I don't really remember. I think you do meet her, but it's in, like, your head, I think. This game is a joke, obviously. This game is, this game is like, you do like the, oh my god, g game of the year material. This is game of the year material. It's one of those games. You know, you buy this game and you play it for funsies. You play it for jokes. You play it for gags. Because, because, uh, you have nothing better to do than play absolute, he's, this guy has made other games, by the way, and He's played, he's made other games. And they are really interesting. So I'm gonna leave the segment with this. The music video is a fucking bop. That is going to do it. For the Platinums of 20, 2022. Almost at 23. What a trip. I won't lie to you guys. I don't think I've ever explained it. But if you've ever... Did you ever see the number in the corner? The corners or whatever? I think it's this corner. Yeah, uh, that symbolized the, uh, the date that I recorded that segment. If you go back to the beginning of the video, you're going to see, hey, the first number is uh, four dash something. Yeah, I started filming this video in, in, in April. And it came out in September. I literally spent... I spent five months working on this video. And I hated every second of it. I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding. Yeah, this video would have been out in the way fucking earlier but uh Josiah died so that kind of that kind of that kind of put a little put a little put a little bump in the road for the production of this video the other two videos released in what March but yeah this one this one came out in September when it comes to platinums of 2023 this will not happen again I promise you guys, this will never, never happen again. Yeah. So yeah, this video is finally finished. And now, I can work on different videos now. I can't fucking believe it. You do, do you know how many fucking ideas I have for videos? And I couldn't work on them because I wanted to work on this video. But yeah, I want to give a shout out to, uh, let's see, Jonathan Adam. He appeared in this video. He appeared in the, uh, the meme run segment. I was at his house wearing this exact same shirt. Did anyone else appear in this video? Oh yeah, I was in Texas for the, uh, what game did I talk about? Uh, Gem Smashers. And yeah, hopefully, when Platinum's of 2023 comes out, uh, which will be sadly in a few months, because come January 1st, I kind of have to start working on this. Yeah. Ugh. I just, uh, I don't, I don't ever want to, I don't want to talk about platinums for the next fucking year. Then don't force yourself. But I like to do it, so. Thank y'all so much for watching this platinum video. Please give it a like. God, please. <laughs> Subscribe, please. 
like, please share with your friends and your family. Be able to, and uh, be sure to tune in next time. Yeah.